Hey, this is Jessica, and I'm with my pigs. Do you think they're getting something? Actually, they want their veg, but they're not getting their veg yet. Um, this is the Living World Egg, Seagrass Egg Game, they call it. Um, this is the egg-shaped one. It has two holes, so I stuffed it with, uh, this is oat hay, not their usual orchard grass. And this is what it came on it. Let me get this wooden Living World tag. And then this Seagrass Game encourages foraging. I think there's three different versions. There's one that's like a cube, and then there's the one that has the pin in it, which I don't think my guinea pigs would like that one, so I'm glad that I got the egg one. So I haven't given this to them at all before, and I stuffed it with hay. Look, look. There you go. What Daisy got? It doesn't look like she pulled something out of it. Well, they seem to like it. I don't know how long they'd like it for. Probably until it runs out of hay. I don't know. Leave it in their cage all day and come back to it when I'm back from work. See what it looks like. So that's the initial response. I don't know if they would have liked so much if I put just the regular orchard grass in. That's why I put the different type of hay in. Makes it more of a treat. I guess you can stick treats in there too. Probably. I should have done that, but I didn't. Daisy looks like she has. Daisy has like an old spray that came out of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this video two parts. I'm going to come back from work and see what this looks like. So that is it for this part. They seem to like it, which is good. Okay, and we're back, and this is after work, so it's almost, I don't know, it's like a quarter to nine p.m. Um, this is the messy cage. Uh, I don't know how they did this, because it was over there. So let's check out Oh, she has her head stuck. Oh my god. And we're back again. Okay, so her head was not as badly stuck as I thought. She was just, since she is my spaghetti pig to begin with, she was, didn't, she didn't, since she couldn't see me when I touched her, she kind of was like, ah, like, gave a little squeal. But they got all the hay out. Um, let's just say head getting stuck could be an issue. You, know, you just saw it, so maybe, I don't know, don't leave it in unattended. Like, I wasn't really stuck. All I did to get it out was I held this part, and then she, you know, ran out, like ran away backwards and got it out herself. So it's not like I had, there she is. She's okay. You're okay, right? And you're scared. You scared me too. I was like, what's going on? Yeah. Get your head out of there. I was going to edit that part out, but since she didn't hurt herself or anything, you guys might as well see her head stuck. I'm sorry, it's kind of funny now. Now that we know you're okay, it's a little funny. Because you had an egg on your head. <laughs> okay, so I don't know, maybe because she has such a small head, like maybe the full grown ones wouldn't have done that. Would, you, would have you done that? Look, let's see. I don't know. You might have been able to do that. Either way, they were rolling it around at one point and it was getting away from them while they were taking the hay out. That was kind of funny. Trixie has been mounting everybody today, so I don't know if she's in heat. But it's getting annoying because she keeps on picking on the babies. It's always Daisy and Lily. Right now she's picking on Daisy, I guess. Yeah, you're not a boy. But now, anyways. So yeah, I guess it is a good game. Um, it kind of smells. I just smelt it to see if they peed on it. I think they did. So I don't know if I'm going to use it again now because of that. If anything gets peed on, I usually throw it out. 
So yeah, that it. Uh, I didn't think they'd put their head in, but I did stuff it pretty tightly with the hay. So I'm gonna remove this. And put that over there. So yeah. Everyone's okay, well, as you can see. She is always like that, though. She doesn't let me touch her. I had her out, though, today. On my lap. Yeah, she's good when you have her out. She lets you pat her and stuff. Um, they have another veg. Their evening veg, so I'm gonna have to give them something. Sorry, I don't know what else to say about that seagrass ball game. <laughs> Since you saw kind of what, you know, could possibly go wrong with it. But it was still, they liked it at first. I think they still liked it. That's why she had her head in it. But uh, they don't actually, as you can see, there she goes, she's chasing Daisy. As you can see, they don't actually chew on, really, the seagrass itself. It's what you put into it. So there's some behavior that, that you'll, you can see for everybody who thinks I have pigs that get along beautifully. They don't really. No. They'll have, they have their moments where one of them will start chasing the babies. It's always the poor babies. When I say babies, I mean Lily and Daisy, because they are the younger ones. Sometimes it's Abby. When Trixie does it, it's really annoying, though, because she's pretty... She's not aggressive about it. She doesn't hurt them, but she'll just do it, like, nonstop for, like, a whole day. And she's been doing it nonstop. It's annoying. She doesn't hurt anybody. It's just you'll hear them like cooing because they're annoyed with her chasing them. And she doesn't do it to Abby at all, I don't think. But she also, when I she came with Abby, so I guess they don't have a dominance issue. So yeah, so that's what I came home to. Guinea pig head stuck in seagrass ball. And, uh, You know, if you still want to, I'm not saying don't buy it because of that, just, you know, be careful. Um, I think maybe the cube one has a smaller opening, so that might be a little bit safer. I can't remember, I saw the cube one in my local pet store, and I can't remember how big the opening was. The pin one looks pretty small too, but it has a pin in it, and that just seems like, seems like something that rabbits like, because I've always seen rabbits trying it out. I don't know if any pigs really care for it. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. And I'm going to get them their veg and vacuum their cage because it's full of poos. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. Bye-bye.